Hi there guys, so ahead of Luis Ortiz's challenge for the WBC World Championship against Deontay Wilder, he has claimed that Deontay Wilder is using dirty tactics and things against the rules of boxing in order to gain an advantage. This is what Luis Ortiz had to say about Deontay Wilder and the way he fights. Some of the things Wilder has done can be done differently this time around, which are illegal. The blows that he throws with the inside of his fists and punching down on top of the head and all kinds of craziness that he does, which makes it very difficult to get settled into any fight. Quite frankly, it should be illegal and borderline criminal. You absolutely never know what Wilder is going to do and how he approaches his fights. Now, firstly, these punches are not illegal. They are wild and crazy, but it's not against the rules of boxing. I can tell you that. And I'm not making excuses for Deontay Wilder because I'm not really his biggest fan. But Deontay Wilder, the punches that he throws are not illegal. They are wild, they are crazy and completely unpredictable, but they are not illegal. And punching down on top of the head, I haven't really seen too many cases of him doing this, but obviously Luis Ortiz is trying to get in Deontay Wilder's head and not only the head of Deontay Wilder, but the officials as well. Obviously, he is looking to create an insecurity in Deontay Wilder about the punches that he throws while also trying to make the referee believe that some of the punches are not legal, which means that Deontay Wilder may have that insecurity going into the fight, thinking, I cannot throw certain shots because they might be branded as illegal, and the referee will be looking for those shots as well. So this is just a little mind game, I believe, from Luis Ortiz, because obviously those punches, those wild ones, are very unpredictable and hard to prepare for. I mean, it would be easier for someone like Luis Ortiz to prepare for a boxing match because he has a very good boxing IQ and great ring craft. So preparing for a boxing match wouldn't be all that difficult for Luis Ortiz because the last thing that Deontay Wilder is, is a skillful boxer. He is a very good fighter. He lands that shot. He seems to find it every single time he fights, even against Tyson Fury. And obviously that was enough to get him a draw. I believe Tyson Fury won that fight, but then again, it's a draw. So that will have to be run back as well after Deontay Wilder fights Luis Ortiz, provided he comes through him. And obviously, as I said, what Luis Ortiz is saying here is just to get in the head of Deontay Wilder and perhaps the officials as well. Because as I said, you cannot prepare too well for Deontay Wilder because you don't know what he's going to do. And there is nothing really that Deontay Wilder does well other than land that big punch. And there's no method to it. You don't know where it's going to land. You don't know when it's going to land. And there is no technique to Deontay Wilder throwing it. It's just a wild shot that can come from any angle at any time of the fight. So there is no way that Luis Ortiz can prepare for that. The only thing he can do is try and get behind his boxing, keep that jab in Deontay Wilder's face, use his feet, and pretty much just try and box his way and try and find an opening to catch Deontay Wilder when he least expects it. Luis Ortiz has to knock out Deontay Wilder to win this fight. He is not going to last 12 rounds without that big right hand landing. Because, as I said, Luis Ortiz just can't prepare for it. He doesn't know when it's going to be thrown. And obviously, Deontay Wilder does telegraph his punches, but still, it's just so unpredictable. Luis Ortiz could have won all 12 of the rounds, and in the last minute of the 12th round, that punch lands. I guarantee you, at some stage, that punch will land from Deontay Wilder. Because, as I said, it's just so unpredictable, you don't know when it's coming, and it's those shots that end up knocking a fighter out. The ones they don't see coming, that land fast. And Deontay Wilder is very quick, when he lands that punch as well. So in my opinion, Luis Ortiz has four rounds to beat Deontay Wilder. If he does not land anything significant and hurt Deontay Wilder within those four rounds, then the tide will turn and Deontay Wilder will take over. And I believe that Deontay Wilder knocks Luis Ortiz out in rounds six to 10, because at that stage, Luis Ortiz will be going back the other way. And once he starts letting his guard down and he's not so fast with his reflexes and he's unable to see those punches coming from Deontay Wilder, that will spell trouble for Luis Ortiz. But if he can get to Deontay Wilder within those first four rounds, then he has a chance, I believe. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Luis Ortiz saying that Deontay Wilder's punches should be illegal and they should be against the rules of boxing. And do you believe he is just trying to create insecurities in Deontay Wilder's mind and in the referee's mind as well for the fight? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.